Praise the Lord and good morning everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray for divine retreats and SMSB. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat center SMSB. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. October 15, St. Therese of Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Born at Avila, Spain, Teresa entered the Carmelites in 1535. At first, she lived a mediocre religious life but experienced a profound conversion in 1554. In collaboration with St. John the Cross, John of the Cross, she undertook a reform of the Carmelites. Along the way, she experienced profound mystical revelations along with many difficulties. Teresa composed works of highest doctrine and mystical theology. She died at age 67 and was named a doctor of the church in 1970. The entrance antiphon. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Dear loving children of God, as we have the memorial of St. Teresa of Avila today, a mystic or a doctrine, a doctor of the church, so through her intercession, let's pray. Pray very specially for everyone who is struggling uh, to be responsible in their life. There are people who are in idols and people who are lazy and people who are uh, not convinced about the value of time. We remember such people today and we pray for them, their struggles, so that let them convince what is real and what is lasting. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. A God who through your spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the church the way to seek perfection. Grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. From the beginning till now, the entire creation as we know has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit, we too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. For we must be content to hope that we shall be saved. Our salvation is not in sight. We should not have to be hoping for it if it were. But as I say, we must hope to be saved since we are not saved yet. It is something we must wait for with patience. The Spirit too comes to help us in our weakness. For when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit Himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what He means and that He pleads for the saints expressed by the Spirit are according to the mind of God. This is the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The judgments of the Lord are true and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. If the rule of the Lord is to be trusted, it gives wisdom to the simple. A response. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command, the command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. A response. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding forever. The decrees of the Lord are truth and all of them just. A response, the judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold. The sweet, and sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. A response, the judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. All who live in me and I in them will bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true wine, and my Father is the wine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he cuts away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, to make it bear even more. You are pruned already. By means of the word that I have spoken to you, Make your home in me, as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the wine. Neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the wine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me with me in him bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire, and they are burned. If you remain in me, my words remain in you. You may ask what you will, and you shall get it. It's to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then 
you will be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, we had an optional uh, reading of today's uh, Gospel passage connected with the memorial of St. Teresa of Avila, Virgin and Doctor of the Church, the first female Doctor of the Church. This passage is very, very common and very familiar Gospel of John chapter 15 about I'm the wine and the, you are the branches. Something connected with uh, the saint of today, St. Teresa of Avila. Most of you may be uh, aware and maybe you have your research or your studies connected with her because she is a virgin and her daughter and above all a mystic. Um, almost at the time of John of the Cross. And John of the Cross was a kind of disciple with St. Teresa of Avila maybe around 27 years elder than John of the Cross. The beauty of all mystics, not only uh, Avila, all mystics that I heard this morning, they all want to search and they all want to have that personal, intimate relationship with God. That's, uh, that's what is most beautiful thing about mystic. They are really searching for them when they speak something we don't understand much. For them, it's, it's, it's maybe uh, can't comprehend much because they speak about the world is not real. The world is just a dream world. The real world is eternal life, life after. So when they, especially connected with the Avila, when she had a lot of spiritual ecstasies and spiritual visions and a lot of insights, then it very clearly speaks to her. She had a wonderful, intimate, close relationship with God. That's what most beautiful. And for us, maybe to practice today, she speaks one uh, levels of prayer. So how can a person pray in, her, in his daily life? And she says, in order to pray or in order to have a fruitful prayer, you need to have three virtues in life. The first one, love of God. And second one, detachment from the world. And third, total humility. When there, these three virtues are active or present in a child of God, then prayer becomes much more easier. She believes one thing so confident that it was this. She said, absolute trust in the higher power. Absolute trust in the higher authority or higher power. She called the higher power as God, but absolute trust. Never ever doubt this. Trust in the absolute goodness of the Lord. So dear loving children of God, as we read the passage connected with I am the vine and you are the branches. I'm not going to explain because we all know it very well. Jesus said, abide in me, I abide in you, you bear much fruits. This is what exactly St. Therese of Avila speaks to us today as we remember her very specially. Her close contact with God. This is really matters. And she says very clearly, why we waste our energy, why we waste our time, why we waste our talents, since we know that the earth is not the real place of our own. So she speaks very clearly because she had this ecstasy and this vision that the world that is after, that's life after death, where you are going to have your eternity. So when you come to know such a most immortal, eternal world, then why you waste so much of your energy, your time, your money, everything, just being in this world, enjoying all kinds of things. May I not be a comprehend much for each one of us, even though we find it a bit difficult to understand this, but there is something, a real truth in this. So, dear loving children of God, let us try 
as we as we take one more step close to our destination this is the time really we need to understand what i am doing with my energy what i am doing with my time what i am doing with my own uh, resources whatever it may be what i am doing with my talents am i prioritizing what is most important and eternal or just like everyone i'm using all these resources into the world and not getting much fruits to my soul she's a wonderful mystic saint and good to read about her and let's try to know more about her thank god for today's gospel passage that jesus spoke to us very clearly without me you can do nothing the father the son and the holy spirit mystery of this water and wine may we come to share with the divinity of Christ blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine the work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your service be accepted. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me of all my sins. <clears throat> Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all His holy church. May our offering, O Lord, be acceptable to Your Majesty, to whom the devoted service of Saint Teresa was pleasing in such great measure through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord for in the marvelous confessions of your saints you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled Their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, o Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. A mercy on every single one who is struggling to be responsible, who are sitting in idle. We pray for them today. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, all the saints, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Macleod. And all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I recite this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Communion and different. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of Saint Teresa and rejoice to sing of your mercies for all eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of fire.
We are safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest, O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests in the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen.